Faye, welcome back to my channel. <sighs> Make sure you bookmark this video because this is actual footage in history of a walking and talking potato. Thank you very much for the introduction. I look great. You could never. Much better. As you guys can tell by the title of this video, it's gonna get personal real fast. I like doing this once in a while, and today calls for that once in a while. Here we are. The wheels on the bus are going round and round. Despite the fact that I look like trash, today's video is in partnership with East Me East. Now, I've talked about this app before on my channel, if you guys saw it a while ago. It is the top Asian dating app. Yes, makes a great segue into what we're talking about today. Break out! Makeups. It's a really rewarding app because there's actually 9,000 successful couples made. Why does this sound like an actual like couple making app? It is. <laughs> like I said before, there is a live streaming feature that is one of the newest features on the app. And it's technically like a multi-party chat room. It's a place to chill. Millennials. Hey, what are you doing? Oh, nothing. Just cutting my toenails. Why? <laughs> mm. Okay, well, come hang out with us tonight. Oh, yeah? I'll be there. Okay, All see right. you. Again, you don't have to be searching for love, you know, that complicating world. You can easily make friends on this app by interacting and the community is growing super fast. So make sure to click on the link down below and download the app today, which is free. It is there for your service if you want. And now, shall we get on with the video? First things first, I took a shower. Um, I need to put on contacts because that's very needed. Yes, this is the Bling Some line from Olens. I'll link that down below if you guys want. I'm gonna link all the products down below if you want. Don't even check that. Take it. If you guys realize if you're uneven eyelid, it's there, honey. Whenever I get no sleep in Korea and I'm jet lagged, it happens. Those are the issues we're facing in today's world. I changed my mind. I decided to go for these contacts instead. These ones are a little bit more want to sit down and talk with you guys. Why do I feel so awkward? <gasps> I like to lay my primer right on top of my nose like that for that. Now, big poor girl with problems. Actually, very funny. You guys have been asking me, hey, how's the dating life? I don't have a lot for you. I mean, like, I could say some things, but honestly, it's not worth it. Or it's too too soon. I don't want to be putting that energy out there yet, you know? That's the thesis. That's what I'm pouring you today. It's too soon to talk about anything. It might be obvious, you know? Stay humble. But as of right now, yeah, I'm still not dating. <laughs> it's just, do I come off picky? I don't know. I mean, I try not to come off so picky or whatever you want to call it. Honestly, I just don't know how to date. Let's just be really honest with each other right here, okay? This is you and me here. And I haven't been trying. <laughs> I'm shy. There's really nothing happening in my dating life. I mean, like I thought there was, but... <gasps> Girl, plot twist! I'm not gonna say anything. All I'm saying is plot twist. I'm crying, I'm fine, but I'm trying not to show you guys. Also, my skin's been so patchy lately. When I was flying, I didn't take the best care of my skin. I took 10 steps forward with my skin, honestly. Not gonna brag, but honestly. And then I flew back to America and my skin went 11 steps back. So right now we're at a net level of negative one and that's what we're dealing with. Anyways, a lot of Korea vlogs coming up on my vlog channel, so make sure you check that out. Is this enough coverage? You can still see so much, but I kind of like it. You know what? I'm wearing my naturalness on my sleeves today. Speaking of sleeves, do you like this sweater? Well, it's my friend's sweater. Yo Andre, if you guys know who Yo Andre is, love and adore, must protect at all costs. Most times, I feel like he's protecting me. I love and support my friends. So I'm gonna link it down below. Check out his merch. There's also, there's also a hat. I'm everywhere today. Buff in that concealer, cause girl, you need it. Back to the topic of dating. Girl, I'm telling you, the most important love is loving yourself. No one's love will ever compare. We're gonna contour later to make ourselves look like we're actually breathing. You know, I like that look. It's very end these days. You should try it out sometimes. If, if you want, I'm not forcing you to. You know what's so funny? During Korea, like, I was reminded no, no, I'm not gonna talk about that. <laughs> okay, I'm like low-key struggling right now. Trying to figure out how I could like start talking about what I want to talk about. But there's really no transition. How am I after my breakup? <laughs> That's the transition. Urban Decay sent me these a long, 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 long time ago. Before Thanos snapped his fingers. Trying to use them because I don't have new makeup. I've been kicked off all of PR lists, I, I feel like. Or actually, I was never on any. Ta-da! Maybe we'll go with this one. 
why are so many people so curious about my dating life? What about, hey Faye, are you okay after your breakup like a year and a half ago, almost two years? I don't even know how long, honestly. What about, what about, hey Faye, how did you actually move on? What about that? Nah, who are you dating now? Is it true that you and so-so are dating? You know what, Linda? Even if me and so-so were dating, I wouldn't even tell you. So you wouldn't even know. Yeah, take that. I don't know why I'm getting so aggressive. <laughs> Everyone cares more about like where I'm at right now that they they forgot about the process. I think it's so important to talk about the process. It's hot! Point is, let's talk about the journey, okay? It's not about the destination. And the truth is the truth. I guess I'll just get into it. A long, long time ago, in the land of the interwebs, I had made a video talking about a certain breakup, which I still get questions on here and there. Not as much anymore. They make me feel awkward. Talking about my breakup and like why we broke up which technically i didn't even really give you a reason why in depth you know because that's just too personal i had stated that we had fallen out of love and i'm sure you guys know who i'm talking about this is gonna be so awkward because i know so many guys are gonna go look it up cringe honestly after i broke up i really didn't try to find a boyfriend the whole point of me breaking up was to focus on myself so i never like made effort to try to like find a new boyfriend or start dating which you know that's why i'm at this awkward state of am i ready moving on was pretty easy makes it sound really bad our idea of having an easy breakup means that there was like no love there to begin with so not true it was still hard to move on from i'm not gonna lie there were certain times where memories come back and you kind of miss the memories i'm so stubborn i won't just say like i did miss him <clears throat> oh my god so cringe i can't i can't do this there were times i did miss the memories of being in that relationship you know what was hard for me it was more like when it transitioned from fall to winter there was like a cold breeze like that feeling of the season like changing that made me very like emotional there are memories tied to that feeling I don't know if you even understand what I'm saying. I didn't know how to deal with it. You deal with it by not dealing with it. That was my tactic and, and it worked. You just don't think about it. Why is my neck so yellow? <laughs> Sorry, I just suck it in. <laughs> the reason why this was on my mind is because like during Korea, I had a friend that was like going through similar things and it just brought back so much of my breakup. Oh, one eye looks so magnified and one eye looks like it gave up on life. Obviously for relationships, it's different for everyone. If I can give one advice to anyone who's going through the process of moving on is that time is definitely your best friend and i know that people say that all the time that time is time time will heal wow a therapist me and when you can feel that you want the best for the other person that is when you will feel the most at peace and at ease. I feel like a lot of times in breakups, people don't move on because they hold on so tight to the memories. Like not the actual person, but the memories. I will say there are some scares that I feel sometimes, I think it's pretty normal. I just sometimes feel like I'm never gonna be able to find the one. I think that has to do with you loving yourself first because if you already fill that void, then you're not seeking so much for a person to fill that void for you. It's never even. That's when you know it's a signature look. I think that's one of the biggest fears after a long relationship and then breaking up. I mean, there are some people here and there, but maybe my expectations changed. I want to say it's bad that my expectations heightened, but at the same time, it's not bad to know what you want because you should never settle for less. You shouldn't feel guilty. However, it's going to be a lot tougher. So me right now, I feel like I am more open to meeting people, but I live in Michigan. You don't meet people here. And then it kind of sucks because when you do meet people, sometimes the only reason why they're talking to you is because they know you do social media. That's a little crappy too. I don't think I'm like in desperate need to find a relationship because honestly, I'm not ready for one. I feel like I'll never be ready. Oh, and then I was also having this talk with like my friend. We were talking about how I was scared of rejection. In my eyes, I was afraid to get hurt or afraid to put myself out there. She made it a point and said, well, maybe it's an ego thing as well. And I was like, no, it's not. She's like, you sure? And then I really thought about it. It kind of is. A lot of us don't want to put ourselves out there because we're afraid of rejection. It hurts our pride. It hurts our ego, right? And I was like, no, it's not because I'm mad. She was telling me like, it's easier after it happens once. But I'm so scared. Like if I did like someone, 
I'm too scared to confront. I'm the type to just kind of hide behind a bush and just like keep my feelings to myself, but then like go crazy and think, what if, what if, what if? Hi, that's me. My name is Faye and I'm very complicated. I don't know, man. I don't show it, but I feel like I'm so timid that I don't want to put myself out there. Even if I like someone, I just cannot deal with the stress and anxiety that it comes with. That's me on life in general. Honestly, I just don't have the balls. Whoops, my memory was full. I wish. <laughs> I feel so like weird right now. I think I'm just tired. I woke up at six today and then I like stayed up to work on stuff until like nine and then went to the gym at 10. And I got back around like noon. Right now it's like one. And I just feel like so out of it right now. So I apologize. It's sometimes nice to just be calm and talk and get my emotions out there. I guess I'm discovering what it's like to have a crush or honestly, I think I like the feeling of having a crush more than actually having a boyfriend because it's like fun. It gives you the butterflies. And like, it's so funny because with me, if I like a person, as soon as that person like returns the feelings or shows like a little bit of interest, I am turned off and I just don't get it. <laughs> My friends were like, maybe you just like the chase. And I'm like, I don't, do I? It's so unnecessary. See, I'm telling you, I think I just like having a crush. I've been growing on my brows because I'm sick of, you know, coloring them in. Oh my gosh, my brows actually look even for once. Okay, so then I take a brow color. Just a kind of do -do -do. I love this stuff. Mm, I still contour my nose like this. Some people think it's weird, but honestly, this is an eyebrow pencil and it works. It stays on all day. We have a nose. But yeah, that is my piece on where I'm at. I have so much to do this year and I feel like there's so much on my shoulders still. I cannot afford to have my mind somewhere else. Oh, we need to do mascara on the bottom of my eyes. Love this powder. Jessica introduced me to this baby Etude House mascara. I like it that it separates my eyelashes, but it is a little light. Like I like my lashes to be intense. Oh, you know what? Speaking of relationships, the qualities that you like in a guy is super important. I don't think my expectations are that high. I think the most attractive quality that a guy can have is definitely humor. I don't care too much about how a guy looks like. If you have humor and you can make me laugh and you're funny, that's all. Does that make me easy? I like people in general who are empathetic because when you're empathetic, you're understanding of others. I think that's a good quality to have. They tend to stand out more to me because it's not all about you, you, you. Oh my God, I'm breaking out all over my chin. I don't like it when guys think they know it all. Everyone else is like, stupid or lower than them that is the biggest turn off to anyone and someone with ambition very important i can get very passionate with what i do it drives me to want to become a better person have a better future so i think that's important to have being passionate about something a hard worker so i'm curious now what are qualities you look in a guy or a girl human beings a dog i don't know i wear this color a lot in korea it's like the perfect pink because i'm more into like dusty rose colors yes this is a Jimmy lipstick. <laughs> I really like that you can build this color as well. And I'm just gonna take whatever's on my finger and literally put it on my cheeks. Like I don't even need blush anymore, honestly. I feel like I wanna darken this a bit. Orange brown, um, orange red. Definitely another go-to. So these two I wore so often in Korea and they like never came off and they didn't dry out my lips. I'm gonna go off and do my hair and then I'll be back with the final look. And that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed my little transformation, which I was too lazy to get out of my sweater. So I don't really know how this video turned out. Honestly, my conversation kind of like went left and right in all sorts of directions. Sorry if it bothered you. Let me know if you guys like this more chill side where I can just, you know, relax. Relax, Linda. Again, a huge thank you to East Me East for making this video possible. It's a completely different app with the new live multi-party chat room. So definitely go in with the mindset of just finding friends and meeting new people. You don't always have to search for love, you know, let love search you. So even if you joined a while ago, make sure to refresh and update and check out the app now because new features are always popping up and getting lit. I'm gonna leave the link down in the description box if you wanna join and also it's free to join Linda so you have nothing to lose. That's it for this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to join the Listen Linda family. Until next time, I'm sending love. Bye.